Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Rosinal Sashimi. This board features Rosinal's Amp Tech Elite, which is their take on cam rocker. What you get is a 15% rocker in the nose, 80% camber through the insert pack, and then 5% rocker in the tail. The camber is going to give you the load, pop, snap, and drive for this board, while that rocker is going to give you ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as more optimal powder float. This board is available in 152, 156, and 160. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin on a mostly sunny bluebird day. There was fresh snow everywhere. You had cold temps going to warm temps. The only spots that didn't have fresh snow were where they had actually groomed the runs and made corduroy, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board has your standard run-of-the-mill free ride flex. It's directional in nature, meaning softer nose, progressively stiffening back up through to the tail. The torsional flex is noticeable, but it's not overwhelming. What you will get in the nose with that abundance of rocker is some chatter that does slightly resonate underfoot. The midsection of the board is a lot more stable. When you get into really crusty snow and you're just busting through it, you may get bucked. So just be aware that you might want to keep your knees a little bit bent, but by and large, this board will plow through everything in its path. While this board does have more tail than its short, fat little brother, the Sushi, you still have lost some of that, which does kind of impede the spring of this board. The camber section is very easy to load up, and when you roll back on the tail, you will engage that rocker and it will give it a little bit of spring. It's not the snappiest board out there, but it does get the job done. You can really pow butter with this board. That nose is just so long that it's like a spatula. You pop a 180, you land on it, you press into it. You can feel right where the camber hits that rocker zone. That's the sweet spot and it locks in and you can do just about any butter variation on the nose. With the tail, you've got a little bit more than on the sushi, but basically you're still doing high speed tail wheelies with it. When it comes to carving with this board, this is where it differentiates itself from other medium volume shifted boards. It's got a quick and nimble edge to edge power transmission and when you're on edge, it locks. You've got that camber section to really drive and get that grip of the side cut tech in there, but you can also push off the tail and rail a hard carve. Basically, if you want to be more aggressive, you can with this board and it will lay a trench and you never have to worry about it. But if you want to be laid back and just sort of swoop around, you don't have to worry about it. It's one of those boards that really lets you take it to the edge of your limitations and go further. And it also lets you just be laid back when you absolutely need to. This board will carve when you want it to. Who's this board for? The resort rip and pow guy that will carve when they want to. Once again, did I need to ride this board? No, nothing's changed since the last time I rode it, but I wanted to. This is one of those boards that I really like slashing turns with, and it was a pow day. It was optimal conditions for it. I just wanted to go out and ride a board that I knew how it was gonna ride, and this thing doesn't disappoint. It floats well. When you get on a groomer, you can carve when you need to. Overall, it's a great board for what it is. Comparable boards, the Jones Mind Expander, the Nitro Squash, the Rome Stalefish. Binding recommendations, the Now IPO, the K2 Lean AT, the Union Strata. This has been my review of the Rosinal Sashimi. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.